You know, remodeling is our main focus. Uh, Santa Cruz, there's not a whole lot of new construction, and really we found that uh, the thing that we enjoy the most and that we do best is remodeling, taking these beach homes and redoing them for our clients. So some of these homes are built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and a lot of them haven't been touched. So the house, we bought it from the original owner. And so it was original, nothing had been touched, original plumbing, everything. So it was a bit rough. And you can imagine when it's not been touched, everything needs to be redone. Wow, when I first saw the house, I thought there's some things about it that I, I immediately liked, but there were other things that I was hoping that we could certainly change. I do think the first thing that drew me to it was the unexpected expansive view of the ocean was breathtaking. As you walk through the front door, through the entryway, you can choose to either go up three steps into the brand new kitchen, or you could veer to the left and you're in our great room. Well, when I first met Al and Eileen, uh, and we went through the house together. There were some issues with the great room, for instance. Uh, it looked like there was a converted porch. It had sort of a space that was not a part of the house, but was part of the house, and it didn't really flow from one to the other. And so that was part of the, the initial plan was, wow, if we could make this all one big space, we really could do something with it. What I really liked was the view, but I also really liked the, the openness of the house the floor plan, huge open space, and it had a fairly large kitchen, and there wasn't a whole lot of steps to meander throughout the house. It was, for the most part, a single level, and, and I just loved, you know, the, the floor plan that looked out into the view. One of the things that I really liked about working with Len and the team is that they would always listen to what we were asking to have done and help us understand how it could be done, but they would also share with us great ideas about other things that we could do. And oftentimes we definitely went that direction that they suggested. One of the wonderful critical turning points of our remodel project, I felt, was when we looked at the kitchen, which had a small eat-in area for a dining room table, and we said, let's not use that as a dining area. Let's go ahead and make this kitchen larger with a larger island. And we cut that big hole through the kitchen wall, and you could see out through the ocean with that bar you have now. That was one of the main features about the kitchen, was to try to open that up. Absolutely, by opening up that wall, and cutting that opening in there to look right straight out at the ocean. Yeah, it's spectacular. I do want to point out, so throughout the house, there's consistency with the, the flooring and the design. And so when you go into the hallway, same thing. The, the doors are the same type of material. It's, it's Douglas fir that we used. And then as you go towards the end of the hallway, then it leads you into the nice guest bathroom which was, it's, that's another you know, spectacular piece in itself. So the master bathroom is down three steps as you continue through the hallway, and then you turn left. There is a top to bottom master shower. So as I walk into my master bedroom down the hallway, I'm immediately captured by the view through the patio doors, which didn't exist there originally, and then also the large window to the right that was never there. So it's all view, and it's just breathtaking. And now I have the ability to go out and sit on a porch in the morning with a cup of coffee and just relax. So working with Lynn was easy. And I had a lot of opportunities and in interviews with other general contractors. And when I met with Len, we just hit it off. The entire team is great. So a lot of them now are my friends and they really are a team. 